Hello everyone and welcome to Bevan's Bricks. I'm Daryl and today I'm here to show you another new mock ID I came up with that new road plate system and I'm pretty happy to share it with you and it's this guy right here. So if this interests you, stick around because it's coming up. Now I know every since the release of this new road plate system, a lot of people were not really happy with it. And I'll be perfectly honest, even I myself was not really happy with it. But I tell you what, the more I play with it and the more I look at it and the more I work with it, I'm actually really loving this new road plate system. And I'm going to show you why. This guy right here, and let's get the camera back down into focus a little better. Uh, this is my first T intersection that I made using the new road plate system and I think it looks absolutely wonderful. At least it looks good to me anyway and this makes it usable as a mills plate as you can see. Now a lot of you may know that I have already made a straight mills plate version of that road as well and as you can see it meets right up with it and works beautifully. But the best part is I've also made a four-way intersection of this as well. And the reason that I wanted to make this video was to show you guys, number one, this new item that I made, but number two, to let you know that this is available on my Rebrickable store, and so is the four-way T section, or four-way intersection, I should say. But the thing that I wanna point out, and that's why I wanted to make this specific video, is if you look at this, I have the crosswalk piece on all sides of this. And the same thing with the four-way intersection piece. But here's the thing, on the instructions, it doesn't show this printed piece. And the reason it doesn't is because in studio, it doesn't have that piece available with that printing on it. It only has the piece blank. So when you go to take out look at my Rebrickable store, if you're looking for the instructions for this particular road plate anyway, you're not going to see it with the lines on it. It's just going to look like a big blank T intersection and also a big blank four-way intersection. Now, I want to point out also that I am going to be working on on a curved section because I know a lot of people are really bummed about the new road plates and not having a curve but uh, I am working on one and once I get it all set and ready I will be posting that well I'll be posting that here on my YouTube but I'll also be posting the instructions for that on my rebrickable page as well so never fear we will figure something out that looks very good and complements the rest of the road system just as well as everything else does and that is all for this video. Just wanted to make a quick video to show you guys some of the stuff I'm working on for the new road plate system because I know a lot of people are really not happy with them and I'm taking it to upon myself anyway to try and find a very suitable solution to make those very usable in all LEGO cities. But anyway, if you're interested in this road plate system, again, don't forget to check down in the description in the comments of this video as I will have a link to my rebrickable page so you can check those out and buy the instructions for that. And until next time, as always, thank you for coming to Bevan's Bricks. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share below. And we'll see you next time on Bevan's Bricks.